Uh, we also got sponsors. Yeah, tell us a little about some of those because they, they are who makes this work. Mm -hmm. Well, the outboard we were using on the Walls John boat is was uh, paid for by a grant from something called Wild Green Future. I never heard of them before they approached us. Right. They get their funding in an interesting way. They started out as a Facebook group called Wild Green Memes. Hmm. Uh, pictures with words on them. Yeah. Which started as a college project by some people at uh, Florida, uh, University of Florida. And they got, uh, they've got 750,000 members. Wow. So it's one of their board members decided, what if we, uh, you know, raise some money and did something about this stuff we're talking about? So if you ask 750,000 people for 10 bucks and you get a small percentage to give it, so yeah. you got $10,000. <laughs> exactly. So, well, that's great, yeah. So we got actually two outboards. Phil Royce came up from Live Oak to help swap the, the 25 horse for the 9.9 .9 because in that creek we knew we were going to hit things where that thing needed to bump up. Yeah. And the 25 horse is electric tilt, so it won't do that. Uh. Okay, and Georgia Power has for, I think, four years running now, uh, helped uh, provided money to support our water quality testing volunteer program. And we got uh, Ace Electric, Dr. Brett Wagonhorse, mm -hmm. Brooks Co. Dairy, PCA, Southern Classic Realtors, Dr. Tom Potter, and some others. These are the ones off the top of my head. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think you got to know Wild Adventures, uh, Ace, uh, Brooks yep. Co., Southern Classic Realtors, uh, mm -hmm. PCA. Yeah, uh, there's, and you, make, you mentioned the other day.